Welcome Aquarius to my channel Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for Aquarius. It is for the end of October and I'll try to fit in a few more readings uh, next week I'm traveling but I'm uh, right here now. <laughs> I hope you're doing amazing Aquarius. It is a general reading. Take what resonates for you and do leave the rest. Uh, I hope you can also find some messages in uh, yeah, if you have other placements in your chart, um, then you can check out other signs as well. Each week there usually is a, is a thread um, throughout the messages, I reckon, but um, let's see um, what is in store for you today, Aquarius. We are in the season of Libra. I'm using the Rider Weight Tarot deck. Some of you could struggle with insomnia this week. Some of you could, at the same time, you're moving into a phase where you feel more in harmony and uh, you could have someone close to you, the Queen of Cups, that could be or a Sagitt um, Sagittarius or a water sign. Uh, <laughs> how many times the Queen of Cups is coming up? There is definitely someone around you, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, Pisces, perhaps, someone with a child. Scorpio Pisces Cancer is coming up, um, Aquarius. Um, it can also be you that are moving into this completion about, a, it, like, um, sorry, I'm a little bit tired, it's very late. Um, it's the end of a cycle for you in terms of you healing, where you actually wake up and feel that, well, I can give all this love to myself. I, I feel complete. I really feel now where uh, I'm going, which path I'm going. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. There is very likely that many of you are walking towards a commitment. You are walking towards the one that you are also walking into a lot of abundance. A person have their eyes on you. This is also a person that, let's say when you, you, you play in the same yard in a way, right? Um, you could work together or you used to work together or you used to play sports, you used to go to an event. It could be something like that. Um, this is also a connection. You could have the sense of same sense of humor. Both of you could have number eight in your chart. I'm picking up this again. I'm picking up there could be something to do with common interest. This person might have Scorpio or Sagittarius in their chart, likely Sagittarius. Um, but um, this could be, this is someone that is also manifesting um, and also they they know they have to be um, selective with their their tools. <laughs> it looks like they are coming in with energy. They want to um, give you a good impression, especially when it comes to how you perceive them. This person, this is someone that is very attracted to you, Aquarius. Um, again, yeah, with the with the Queen of Wands, yeah, very very attracted to you. As a Aquarius, this is someone that could be looking at you at work. You might have cancer in your chart. Um, they just feel that if they had you by by their side, I mean, their life will be complete. Now, see, there's someone here also. They're very much obsessing about coming forward. This will cause an ending. There is again, see here with the Queen of Cups. This could be that this person is, um, there could be an ending with a Scorpio in order to come forward for a new beginning, right? But there will be um, something that you could find out about a Scorpio, an ending with a Scorpio here. Um, we'll look into this person. So this is someone that could be Gemini, Mm, again, they have their eyes on you, Aquarius. You could have a fire in your chart. 
Uh, this person could also be into cats. Um, they, they, so they, they want to take action, but they also know that they have to select their tools, meaning, okay, what do I turn on my charm? How do I do it? It looks like this person, they will use an opportunity. Uh, maybe if they have an opportunity to praise you, they will use an opportunity to show up when you are celebrated or they are something to do with praising you. This person as well, they desire here to get something off the ground, um, but they have to... Um, they have to they need to take some courage um to to come forward um there is here in the there is a transition happening around you aquarius a transition is happening so maybe your life as you know it there's something new coming into your life here and that could be a surprise but see here you are well and truly ending a chapter there could be a capricorn coming towards you it could be a start of a new romance you feel in harmony or you're moving into a place of feeling in harmony after kind of feeling that oh everyone is out to get you or everything is just like a, a battle you are looking over your shoulder every single day but what you desire that things will be moving for you and things will be it's as if things are going to go the direction that you're looking for after a time of struggle. After you maybe you felt that also people are against you or in your environment, those that you expected support from, you felt yeah, left out um, as well. You felt that oh, every everyone is against you. You could also felt that there are toxic people around you, which could be also the case, but something will change. But uh, let's go... Um, and check out this person. I do like their energy. They could be a bit younger than you. They do see themselves as a very good match to you. But at this time, it is very much of a someone that is very, very attracted to you. So it's more of a, an obsession, uh, right? It's someone that they want to have fun. They want to get to know you. Uh, but at the same time, it looks like this person here, they really want to also make a good impression. So how do they do that? Hmm. Now, what you don't know is that this person, there is something about them changing old patterns. That could be you as well. Maybe both you and this person is uh, changing, in, but for different reasons. Now, <clears throat> sorry, I see that, okay, this person here might, it might be someone with Sagittarius and uh, uh, Capricorn in their chart. This person is... They might actually also have a, if they have ended a, a situation or, you know, something's coming to an end, they are defending themselves or they, there is, there could be an ongoing um, argument as well with someone um, in their environment. So it's separate to you and it's very exhausting. They're needing uh, like time to rest. So maybe they, they are not really on form. It can be that this person here, um, it's, um, it can be that this person, okay, right. See this person here, yeah, there is an ending in a bird, well, a burden and someone they could be quarreling with. Someone could wear a mask here as well. Now, in their feelings for you, so if you have been with this person before, there is that this person broke their own heart and now they are aligning and being patient to move forward towards Aquarius, but they're not sure if they can. And it can be that they are not permitted to you or not allowed to get near you because we have an ending. They are stopped. They, they're coming. Uh, <coughs> My goodness. They, so they must be thinking about you. Um, oh, what, what else here for the person that Aquarius is dealing with? This is someone that, yeah, okay. They tend to know when to use their charm and they don't really have to put too much of an effort. They don't have to put too much of an effort, but now they have to really go through a change. I see this person could be going through um, a, a lack in their finances uh, so that there is in 
you know, what they desire to overcome here is to come towards you. But here there has been an ending. There's something about competition. There is an ending. There is um, something they have to overcome. I see that this person, they have to actually leave an environment that is toxic, that is draining them, where people, they can't trust people. It's, I, I see something has hit I feel that this person have that there they could be with a an ex or they live with someone that they had a long-term relationship with it's something about an ending with a scorpio here as well but they desire to uh, come through this and then they they see that this connection potentially can heal and that's the light at the end of the tunnel but you see this person aquarius as okay uh they have a lot going on i've closed the chapter and i'm staying in harmony and and i don't even go near them but it's something about the death card and the queen of cups here you also are pouring into yourself you could experience here like with the tower there is like changes someone here is going through a lot of changes and you're trying a bit similar to pisces reading where you're trying to um avoid uh someone else's tower because it's not yours so it could be sort of it's all happening behind you here but you have in in the current like in the present, you have actually no contact with this person, but this person could be trying all kinds of ways to sort of get attention without kind of, you know, not like they're knocking on your door, maybe some will, but it's kind of trying to get your attention. Um, but I think that you are picking up that this person might be going through this ending with the Queen of, um, with the queen of Cups. Mm, it's something to do with the Queen of Cups. Someone is very sad, moving out of the home. Uh, it's like all going on here. What is happening with Aquarius in their environment with the with the world and um, with the world and the devil? So you are here, sort of. There is someone here that's very loyal to you. Um, this could be also. Maybe someone younger than you there is some loyalty here you are starting off i see i, I see that there's something of balancing it's definitely a stability balancing it could be two projects it could be you know day and night work it could be two businesses it could be a lot which is it's hard work so you're trying to pretty much keep yourself grounded and then in your environment, there is going to be a message from someone here. You might feel very happy to hear from them. So it's that initial, oh, wow, they like me. They, they, it's that kind of, it's flat. There is someone here, there could be Capricorn, younger than you, that is sending you a message and you feel flattered. But then I see there's someone, what's well, the six of wands and then... Mm hmm why is the we have the ten of swords and the knight of cups for aquarius okay yeah there is someone coming towards you i believe from a scorpio and yeah there is an ending with a scorpio someone is coming towards you they might have told them that they're coming towards you so you will find that there's a new beginning with for you because this person here could be Scorpio, they are Scorpio, but they're coming towards you, but there is someone here hurting, um, they might have told someone, so you might be dealing with someone a bit younger and a bit sort of, um, they are not, like they shouldn't, um, they could brag a bit, so, so if they've been going through it with someone, they could kind of say that, and, and you don't really want them to, put you in the crossfire. That's what I'm picking up here because someone will, you might have to protect yourself from someone. Let's see here, what's going on here in the middle with a death card and the 10 of swords and the queen of cups and the tower. What's going on here for Aquarius for the most likely outcome? So 
it's something to do with a new beginning for you, Aquarius. This could be an abundant new beginning. You have been going through it, and this is... See, this could be someone... Uh, I think this has to do with a choice in love. You find out that someone has left either a Scorpio, someone's left a Scorpio or a Capricorn. Uh, they're coming towards you, Aquarius. They're coming towards you. Um, but they could tell or um, there's something about this person bragging about that. Yeah, there is someone here that's coming towards you. They have told someone, well, someone could know. It's it's almost like it's all happening behind the scenes. And then this person saying, yeah, of course, I'm going towards Aquarius. They have, I think they're broken up with a Scorpio. Even if you don't know this person, they are going to, to say that they're going towards you. There's something about this person bragging. And I don't know if you're in touch with this person. So you have... <laughs> Given them like they, they could be sending you a message and saying, hey, do you want to go out? If you say yes, this person could be like, oh, great. I knew it. See, they're all here with their stars in their eyes. And they're like, oh, my God, I can't believe that Aquarius said yes. And then because they are going through an ending and someone, some kind of mayhem going on around them that has nothing to do with you. I think this could maybe be a new person or it doesn't have to be. But then someone finds out and they could, it's something about like, drama and if you pick up that if someone is able to reach you with the drama and saying oh you know guess what um yeah did you know that so and so i was in a relationship with them there's something like that someone really wants to uh to communicate to you that uh look it's your fault if uh, so, so it's, it's a bit like your person um should not tell or move someone that is very immature basically that they tell this person because you don't even know what's going on in this person's life for some of you and if they are immature and say that they will actually probably ruin the opportunity with you i see here because you don't want any drama and they don't really think there's something about that they don't think think it through because they are so excited that you answer the message and and that you will say oh yes let's 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 go out that they yeah there's something about that it's like yes uh, aquarius said yes i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna shout it from the rooftop but there might be coming out of a marriage here but like you and this person it could be twin flames here but be sort of see here this person there is something about an ending with a scorpio and of course uh, as it always goes if someone have acted um one way with a third party right that isn't uh, the best and amicable way to the part, right? That's something um, you probably will keep in mind. But see, there is, yeah, it's something like that. Very, very immature. Um, yeah, that's what I'm picking up here. But that's going on around uh, this person that is now coming towards you. Uh, this person could be leaving, again, a Scorpio, a Taurus. Yeah. There is a decision, is a choice in love. I mean, there is a relationship here on the rocks and they have had their eyes on you and they think that, well, if they get to you because they now they are so mature and if they just get a chance with you, they're basically quite ahead of themselves here. Um, but um, I do see, I mean, there's clearly a connection. So what else? What else, right? So um, there could be a, someone that have a child. They could have a child with someone. But anyway, someone will reach out to you. I feel this person again. They have either a Capricorn, Sagittarius, right? This is someone that feels like you are their home. But you will hear from this person that there is something about if there is a there is pain underneath that well, why is the death card and seven of swords and the two of pentacles someone will be in pain uh, here as well and i think that um that's not what you want but you you might find out about it later or someone could be on a distance with this pain um how will aquarius find out about the death here and the seven of swords how will 
Aquarius find out about it. Yeah, see here is something about the Seven of Swords. They, they could just come out of a divorce. It could be very difficult. So there could be someone really, really hurt. And, and they are just so excited to move forward here. Yeah, this is someone that is like, I'm never going to ruin a, another opportunity to, to get with Aquarius. But there is something about them being dishonest about where they're at because they don't want to... They think that this this situation is on the wraps, that this is on a distance, that they can hide it. So why should they say anything? But karma will catch up with them. This person here can be... Um, this is someone here that don't... Uh, they have a habit of not revealing the full truth because they believe that oh oh sure it will be fine like as well like i will share my love to aquarius and that's all i so there is someone here that could come in with a very tempting offer this could be a twin flame i do see aquarius with you with them you are sort of uh, you have made up your own mind anyway you you could say yeah it's very tempting here but i have my new beginning I do see Aquarius that you might not even choose this person here. There's something about them that you, yeah, I, I see there's something about, it's, it's, there could be like, if this person, um, <laughs> uh, they show up at your, they're going to find a way to communicate with you. Yeah. Uh, so I, I also pick up that. You are soulmates. There, you know, it's some of you could be uh, you've been in a relationship before or you discussed relationship, but there is another woman. There is someone that is in a karmic relationship that is coming to an end with this person. They partying a lot. This is someone that is very immature, but they have they have a close bond to you. Uh, now, preparing for union and a new phase, yes, there is clarity and truth here. But I see that you have a lot of self-appreciation now, Aquarius. And um, like you could, you it's, I see that you just know who this person is, what you can expect from them. And, and I don't think that you take them seriously, but they show up in your reading very, very strong. Um, what is Aquarius going to do? What is Aquarius planning to do? You could take a trip to see them. Oh, I, you know, I do see that you have a lot of, um, you have a lot going on. And this Ace of Cups that is coming from them, this tempting Ace of Cups, right? See, you are sort of, see, you are, you see the truth about what can happen so mother of swords father of swords mm, yeah there is for some of you as well you could be dealing with a uh, two people this could be a gemini you you do know each other well so you could I do see there's two people. You have a, an, a, um, a person that is new. I think they could have water and air, but I feel there is a king of wands that, that here, that's a bit of a snake that wants a, another chance, right? They are coming in they're coming into, but they're, they're leaving, they're leaving here. Uh, I think it's a Scorpio and, and, and someone here is, is heartbroken. Uh, so then you got to think, what well, right, why, why is that situation so all over the place? Right. And, and I do see here is because this person, they thrive off, they thrive off going for the next best thing. And I see that you are someone they haven't conquered. You are someone that potentially is a twin flame. There is strong attraction. There is both the soul connection and the physical connection. Yes, that's here. But it's too much trickery involved. 
uh, why they are showing up so close. I think that this person, well, if they have access to you, this person could try to charm you through, you know, common interest as well. But uh, if you look at this, right, they might be like, oh, I'm going to travel to see Aquarius. They could sort of give you this, the big speech here. But I, I do see this person almost being paused, being paused here. But they say this person could have already told someone they're leaving and they're going towards you. But so, so this person is someone that love uh, the attention. They love the attention they get when they decide to go for someone. That's the problem with this person. So they almost create this, oh, this is going to happen to ensure that they have an entourage waiting for them or like, oh no, because they, they, have, they have this way of love bombing and they play games and they've done it for a very, very long time. And they always have options around them. This person could be partying a lot. They could be someone that is very exciting to be around. But see here, there is a, with the lovers, the four ones in the world, I will, this might also be a new beginning with someone else. You, you might give this person some attention since they are showing up in your reading, but I feel so who is the, so the world and the, um, the temperance, the four of wands and the lovers? Yeah, Aquarius, I, I think that you will, in time, know who, who is the right person to invest in, yeah. This person could have air and water in their chart. There's a lot of happiness to be had here. And this person might be in a work, uh, they might be someone you work with. Again, they, you know this person. Uh, this, this connection here is a soulmate connection. Now, with the... Um, with this person here that the devil this could be again i'm seeing a capricorn i feel that this person is um coming towards you because now they know you have kind of moved on so i think it just depends i don't think they get very far it's just because i think that you have You have moved on, but if there's somewhat, something significant here about a Queen of Cups, but you are the one that will fall in love, but with the right person here. Someone is not able to fool you or, 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 or draw you in anymore, Aquarius. And I think that they thought they could do that. They, they thought that, oh, I just finish up over here. I mean, Aquarius, maybe you have known this person for years and uh, they just knew, okay, well, as soon as... As soon as this season is over, then, you know, I make myself attractive and, um, but see, meanwhile, Aquarius have, they know how lovable you are, you know, you know, you already could have had a heart to heart conversation with someone new. There is a bond here that is deepening, this is a playful energy as well, romantic feelings, right, calling in a soulmate. I do see that there is a past life soulmate coming towards you. And the advice is pretty much to, because you have, you, you have, you have closed the cycle and it's saying that you are going to pick up your energy. So coming out of this battlefield and that can make you feel sort of, oh, okay, I'll, you know, uh, I don't have any burdens. I will just speak to everyone, you know, past, present, you know, you name it. I, you know, I'm not going to put a block on anything. And I think that, that. In that period, this person might appear and, and make themselves sort of, oh, yeah, I've changed and all. Maybe they might just look like butter could melt, whatever the expression is. Uh, they, they could have this, oh, you know, they, they could really look very, very sweet and a lot of fun. And it could be really hard to say no to this, this person since they are showing up in the reading like this transformation it will test your transformation because they are tempting and fun you could be also like oh i haven't had fun for a while this person would be just the right 
the right person to have fun. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So here it is, reach out for the power and strength to make changes, to enrich your life and become the person you want to be. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility with birth. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm and positivity. So there are two parts ahead. And that's what I'm saying here. I, I would say that you might feel, Aquarius, there's a period where you sort of, oh, uh, I haven't had any time for myself or finally I can let my hair down. Um, and the advice here is to say, okay, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe so, but you don't have to let your hair down with this person that will be on standby <laughs> because they will. Uh, this is someone that's on standby and, and this person might be your first choice because they are going to make themselves again, very attractive and you know, they will jump through hoops. They're already planning how, say they're already sending signals to you, Aquarius, is that they, they will be very, very hard to resist. Like they seem to be showing up in all places, like just <laughs> where you are and there is clearly an attraction here, but this person here, they, yeah, the attraction, there is a, there is a different side to the coin. They have a lot of dramas here. Someone here is very pissed off. This person could be born on the cusp of uh, Scorpio and, um, uh, and a Sagittarius, right? Someone here with the devil, right? There is a divorce. There is like quite a, a lot of drama, but you know, they know how to make themselves tempt uh, like be tempting here but trust me this person they have yeah they they look tempting but they are um there are a whole lot of drama see there's someone here that is uh i mean they are also lusting after this connection they feel that well if you know if you and them just get together things could be like it used to you know they will show you show you a good time or it's like they think they they wing things but they they have this temptation about them they have that so so if they come that get there first you could this person is hard to it's hard to to tell with them like they look just they are harmless i don't see someone planning to do anything but they they are just your intuition will be telling you that, okay, no, it's not them. There is a reason why you have um, buried yourself in work, perhaps, or, you know, you've come a long way, or there is like a reason why you have rejected love as well. Uh, there is a message again. There is a message from someone, and I think it is, a, it is a twin flame, but there's another message. This person is someone that it's advised to, to take a chance with, um, so if you can look into Aquarius feelings. Yeah, there is a tower moment that you might possibly dodge if you wait, <laughs> right? Mm, there is someone trying to reach you, but I see that if, if, you, if you connect with this person, they got nothing but burdens around them. Yes, it is a twin flame union, but again, it's like something here about someone is watching uh, this person move forward right after leaving a major drama they could be very depressed but they are saying oh i'm going to reach aquarius right this will be my next destination again and and, and um yeah this tower they, there's towers everywhere there's a spiritual connection this, but it's uh, see here someone is just behind the Queen of Swords. Someone's just waiting there and thinking like they just come out. They're like if they, they could have a way to get to you or they are like if if they reach Aquarius, like I can't even imagine. Like there are some this person is a bit crazy, a bit a sandwich short of a picnic, and you do not want that. <laughs> I see this is going on this week. It's a bit like a gate and then there's like all these vultures outside. <laughs> but they're energies in a way. I don't think someone's going to be there. But it's someone that is sort of thinking that, oh, you know, I'll, I'll, I will just do what I need to do. It's... Yeah. 
You have the goat, uh, you have the dragon, you have the tiger. Double confirmation of the uh, year of the, the dragon. I just see um, Aquarius that um, uh, see like where whereas this person here can be very flamboyant. So let's say that if you are on social media and this person will be the one that gives you the most attention, right? They will be there night and day watching and they could seem really, really um, charming um, as well. And, and I see there's clearly very strong connection. Uh, and and I, I see that there is a tempting um, offer. There's a very tempting, very sweet, innocent here. But because you have gone through an ending with this person, while you have gone through this ending with them, you have manifested someone new. That someone new, you might not see them in the same way that you will see this person because this person will just throw themselves in front of you. Like they will, they will, they spot they constantly spot who is around you. This person here has the um, the ability to um, to 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 come in between all the time. This person here is uh, very possessive in that way. It's weird because they have um, commitment issues, but at the same time they are so possessive. They are obsessed about people having um, you know this kind of. Uh, codependency uh, uh, about them right but there is someone here that's quiet it could be blonde they could be younger or there is just their love language is very soft uh, this person could have cancer in their chart right and they behave um, in a different manner so but they are not going to be loud um, at all this person is um, I see they could have a lot of air in their chart uh, their in their moon could be um, Pisces. Um, their moon could be Taurus, but they will. I see that this person here will. Um, they got something to. You might know this person as well. They want to apologize, or they want to say there's it's something about. Oh, it's a shame we didn't get together before. Now I wanted to reach out to you before. Th this person here is trying to reach out, but they are have a different love language. They don't really have. Um, they probably will not uh, at all be like this person. Uh, so, so if this person is uh, around you, this is the one that will get more attention because they are very loud. But, but, but I, I just see with this person is a bit of a, it's like they're in a connection, right? Where someone says, well, if you do this or that, like there's like a threat. So this person is um, extremely um, like they just don't care what's what they love dramas. They love they love um, there is a queen of ones here. They 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 absolutely love the drama and maybe uh, once maybe at some point you were dramatic like that as well, like you will react even if you didn't react like that um, emotionally, you reacted like that energetically, but you don't anymore. You have, um, you become someone different. You, there's different things that uh, ticks, you know, that gets you going, right? And and it's it's a sparkle, it's, it's a true sparkle. It's not something toxic. So I do think that this person, you know, there is two parts for you. There is definitely someone here that's trying to be very sneaky the way they approach you, right? They're also very, very attracted to you again, right? But it's very immature. See, there's other people here, other people here. And this is someone that is sort of, that love, there's a king of wands that love the, the drama that's going on here. And, and they love that there is few people, um, the, the few people that is sort of crying over them. But meanwhile, I think what you're doing, Aquarius, is like you're sailing past them. You might, it might sort of distract them here because I see that you are, there's an invitation that is a, a, a quite and subtle uh, invitation. I feel this person here again have Pisces and um, air in their chart. And I think that 
it's kind of funny because uh, you might give this person some attention, this person here, and, and I don't know what you will do, but it's it's kind of distract them. And and, and it's, it, I think they were just sort of, I think they they think this person here, they, they assume, that's the word I was looking for, they assume that whenever you connect, that you are just, you know, you will just jump through hoops for them or, 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 or that you will, it's some kind of play, some kind of game with them. That's, that's the thing. Like the, it, it could be something very innocent, like watching each other's stories or posting pictures and you keep, you know, having some chats and just, there's some flirtation going on. It could be something small to something, you know, uh, to catch up with them for, for fun, but they get some kind of status and some kind of, um, oh, they, they feel that like if they get to to speak to you, well, that's just, you know, they, their breadcrumbs is paying off, right? And they brag about it, but there is someone that's really hurting. And, and I think that you, they're looking for you here, Aquarius. They're sad. They're like, where's Aquarius? Why, why, why are they not responding? So see here, what well, was they are sort of, focusing on their breadcrumbs here and uh, maybe you show up and maybe you say hello to them right and but you have options here and there is an option see there's already been an ending with someone here that is a fire sign and i think that they know that but somehow they think just from you responding to them or like there's something like that they think they yeah it's, I don't know if you're, it's, it's a bit, it's kind of, um, okay. So <coughs> I don't know if you haven't been going out or if these people are in the same place or it, it could be, be social media, but there is someone here, King of Cups yeah, that you might be avoiding, uh, like a fire sign here, but then, and, and, and you will be successful at that, but they are going to it's like you are trying to connect with this water sign without this person thinking it is them. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. So you're walking away from them. Yeah, pretty much there's a message. Like there could be a, um, a lot of messages like maybe you haven't opened some messages for a while. So there is a message from this person here and you will be like, oh, hey, yeah, you're answering and they get all carried away and they could be bragging about it. It's very childish. But then there's another message from someone that actually when you, that's like really low key. And then you could actually start posting pictures and so on for this person. Maybe like it's, it's again, you want to see that you're having fun or you're going out, but you're doing it for this person here, but they think it's for them. So they are making plans to come towards you, and then when when you uh, when when they ask you, um, okay, you know, when do you want to catch up? You will say no, and you put them out in the cold because you have a new beginning here with um, someone else. Yeah, they are completely oblivious to that. There is someone here that you are making plans with. And this person that is, I think, in a commitment and they are sort of, I see someone here is repeating away, right? There's just, <laughs> so, but there's a lot going on um, around you. Oh my goodness. It's like someone is waiting, waiting, waiting and watching for you to come out. It's like, I'm getting this like, come out, come out, wherever you are. It's the, I think it's the queen of Dan, right? And then, yeah, you don't really come out to, to be with them. And actually this person here could find themselves in a situation where um, and there's a lot of arguments around them, right? And, and then they're like, it's funny in a way because they, they, they prepare themselves for you to uh, arrive, Aquarius. <laughs> Or, and then you're just suddenly gone. You could end up blocking them or it's like this person is 
on a different planet. But I like this person here. I do feel that you and them have the same communication style. They could have Leo as a moon sign. They could have Sagittarius as a moon sign. I'm picking up. They could be a Sagittarius. So, wow, these were the messages I had for you, Aquarius. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you, and have a wonderful, well, rest of your week.